Hello, today we're going to have a look at the Markovian deck and here I have a Spanish copy to have a look at today. So again, similar arrangement, 90 card deck with one placeholder card there. You see a beautiful artwork there from uh, Amy Wilkins. Let's have a look at the crypt first. It's got this nice uh, Prince of Birmingham, apparently Birmingham, Alabama, rather than Birmingham, West Midlands. Uh, again, um, I think we've talked about before, the changes from Demontation to Dominate for these new Malkavians in V5. And he's got all the nice Inclans periods. A little bit of presents, perhaps there's some voting stuff we can do with him as well. Uh, and a bit of a cool special. Uh, for referendums. Then we've got the signature piece we talked about, so six cap prints, again a little bit of an out clan presence, superior dominate, but all specs and obfuscate as well. So you know, we maybe do something with some bewitching orations here. Two copies of her. Straight three cap, dominate and obfuscate. Nice five cap, uh, perhaps a, a little bit of kind of blocking with superior specs going on. Uh, a little bit of obfuscate and dominate as well. Uh, another prince. This guy's a bit more reminiscent of the uh, original group one Malkavians who had all this random celerity all over the place and, and kind of group twos with Victoria and Zoe. Uh, I was never able to get it to work very successfully, but you can do a little bit of a gun deck with them if you want to, and he might be able to do the same thing with obviously the benefit of second tradition as well. Four cap, obfuscate, all specs. Another vampire there with a bit of presence. No titles, but perhaps something can be done usefully. Just a nice little three cap there. Beautiful piece of artwork there. Uh, I really do um, do like Sam's artwork a lot. And then finally, Sunny, the standard four cap with all three in clans. Not too exciting, but uh, always useful to have. Let's have a look at the library. So I do apologise for my Spanish being really poor if we get stuck or anything. But starting off, we've got Silent Hunting Ground. So obviously useful to get those hunting grounds back out and available. Uh, Barons, quite useful to have. Uh, bunch of Blood Dolls. So obviously we said this is a, a Dominate deck. So we have a uh, bunch of Bondings. Some stealth Cards. Conditioning, if you need that. That's not needed, really. Some deflections, Dreams to Sphinx, lovely card to see that back. Uh, the Library, some Eyes of Argus, really love that card as well. Uh, new artwork for Faceless Knight, and the foreshadowing destruction for those who haven't seen it before. Uh, that's just absolutely uh, fantastic artwork there by uh, Yavia. Really, really like that artwork as well. Big bunch of governing lines. Again, you don't you don't need those. You should be friendly, but you know, this should help you get a load of cheap minions out, and then you can use the final ones to actually kill your price. But life in the cities, good to see those back. A little bit more stealth again. Bunch of non QVs. A few revelations. You can be a responsible bleeder by removing those bounce cards, etc. A few spying missions. Again, responsible. Some nice support by the Knights. We've not put very many cards uh, in the set that uh, do two different things. Uh, so it's nice to have a few in there. So I think we've seen um, this is in there. There's some Resistance Grasps, uh, some Scalper Tongues. So it's, it's a bit of a range of different things in here. A little bit of Bounce, uh, a wider view. And again, reference card on the other side of this beautiful artwork. So it's a very straightforward deck. Um, get a load of minions out, go them down, get some more minions out, and then bleed out your preys in, in the order. And try not to hit the wrong one, and if you do, that's what the spying missions are for.